Hello everyone and welcome back to the Forgotten City. In the last session, we entered through the time portal. We came down and we spoke with a few people around here, got to know what's up, got to know what's going on here and why we need to intervene. And today, we are going to continue on. We're still in the first the first cycle, the first loop. She's got up from her chair. Will she still be mad at us? Probably. Do I need to ask Horatius to escort you out of here? Yeah, she's still mad. Okie dokie. Well, I will see you another time then. The best behaviour, I trust? Always, mate. What's up? What's up with you? What now? What's your story? I'm a legionary of the First Italica. But there's not a lot of fighting down here. So the Magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the Magistrate's right-hand man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, daughter, I should say. And the others. And making sure they're all behaving. I also keep a register of new arrivals. How did you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service. Had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. I try not to think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming, trampling each other. Then some genetric and future chill tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds down towards the river, and then nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. No idea how I ended up floating so far down river, but I'm fortunate to be alive, I suppose. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, don't be. As Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. What can you tell me about the Magistrate? He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Can't ask for much more than that. Do you know a way out? I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Huh. I am very surprised he actually gave that to me. I was not expecting that. Uh, a register of each person in the city in alphabetical order. Aurelia, commoner, tavern keeper, tavern in slum, claims to know a way out. Okay, well, we're definitely going to have to speak to them. Claudia, wife of Melolus in the villa. Decius, commoner merchant. Uh, Domi Domiti, is that a T or a C? Domitius, Domitius. Commoner guard, Julius. Commoner unable to work, slum, he's imprisoned. E e Equitia, Equitia. Uh, Vestal priestess in the villa. Fabia, commoner, Galerius, commoner, Georgius, foreigner, foreign merchant in the forum. Hannibal, foreigner who forages for scrap but maybe died in the cistern? Question mark. Horatius, commoner, Kabash, foreigner. Did I say foreigner for Horatius? Commoner and Kabash, foreigner. But he's one of the ones that's disappeared, okay. Julia is patrician debt bondsman to Melolius and who was Melolius again didn't someone oh I know I was thinking of this Melolius is guard M Melolus is guard okay I mean it's gonna be very hard to remember all these names <laughs> uh, Livia refuses to work Melolius is a money lender okay not to be trusted Navia locked herself in palace Rufius increasingly agitated. Sentia restricted to her villa for her safety. That's the woman just over there. Centilla missing. Alpius has a 
is a debt bondsman to the money money dude, money man, and that's it. Okay, that's that is a lot to take in. That is a hell of a lot to take in. Of course. Uh, what do you think about the golden rule? Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion. By threatening to execute one in ten men, the idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone. And it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother-in-arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like hundred-eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. Uh, where I'm from, that would be considered collective punishment, which is a war crime. A war crime? Isn't that a contradiction in terms? <laughs> As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. That's messed up. <laughs> your sort wouldn't last a week in the Legion. Are you saying you're in favour of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh, and I've come to accept my lot. As with the Golden Rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have. Which is sufficient, for he that is so wants nothing. Let's talk about something else. If you like. Uh, who are you going to vote for? He's definitely voting for the man in charge. Not that it's any of your business, but my loyalty is and always will be with Sentius. Unfortunately, I don't think my vote is going to make any difference today. Oh yeah? See, Domitius has been going around town, shoring up votes for Maliolus with lies, Maliolus. bribery and intimidation. The man's a savage, but he's a gladiator, so people fear and respect him more than they should. Sentius knows about it, of course, but he doesn't have the same rat cunning as Maliolus. This place will be different with that sleaze at the helm. But I try not to worry about things I can't change. Mm. Can I help? I appreciate the thought. But you're new here. And I just can't see how you could make an impact in the time between now and the election this afternoon. In any case, if you're interested in the election, go and have a chat with Equitia, the Vestal Priestess. She'll be overseeing proceedings. All right. Figure out how to make Maliolas drop out of the election. Okay. Are we going now? All right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So. Uh. Shrine of Apollo. Yes. Oh, yeah. I forgot you just walk into doors in this game to open them. Hello. Did you have anything Citizen. else? Anything else to say? Ah, you've returned. Do you have any news about your investigation? Uh We've asked all of this last time, right? I'm pretty sure. Like, they're all lit back up, but I think that's just because we've left conversation with him and gone back in. I'm pretty Thank sure you. we've talked I'll about all of here that. For news. What I'm still unsure on is... If it hasn't happened yet, how come there's already golden statues that whisper? Oh, hello, butterflies. Tap X for a guide towards your objective marker. Nice. Like, is this has this happened before? Was this some kind of cycle? Give me a moment. Sorry I'm such a mess. I just lost a patient and a dear friend. Julia. She was a good woman. I'm sorry to hear. What happened? 
She was poisoned. She came in here frothing at the mouth. Normally I'd treat her with resin of silphium, a rare plant which is perfect for this sort of thing. And I knew Dacius had some at his market stall, right around the corner. So I ran over there, but he just looks at me with this evil smile and says, That'll be a thousand denarii. There was no way I could afford that, and he knew it. Jesus. Then that toad shrugs and says, Supply and demand. I guess you don't value your friends like that highly. Anywhere else, I'd just pay a thug to steal it from his stall. But there's no way I can do that down here with the golden rule. So all I could do is come back here and just watch her die. I kept on apologizing. And now I'll never know who poisoned her or how they managed to do it without breaking the golden rule. Or why she cursed that snake's cruel black eyes with her dying breath. That snake's cruel black eyes, okay. Is there something I can do to help? Well, unless you have the power to bring someone back from the dead, there's really just one thing you can do. Get me that Silphium resin. I'm going to have another patient in here soon. Could be in the next day or in the next hour. And I will not allow this to happen again. I don't care how you get it, but you have to make it happen. Because if I lose another patient this way, I swear to the gods below, not even the golden rule will stop me from marching up to that genetic comfortuto and scratching his eyes out. Fair enough. Uh, I'll get right on it. Tip, this will prioritize the quest. I'll see what I can do. That's dangerous talk. Uh... I mean, sure, I'll get right on it. Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. That was the quest we got last time. Uh, where she heard a scream. Search her, no items. Medical tools, collection of barbaric looking medical implements, including forceps and shears. Hmm. Same tools over there. Herbrac. Nice. May Apollo keep you safe. Anything else to say? Feeling all right? Oh yes, we can. Oh, we can ask her all the things. I guess. I guess everyone is going to be able to be asked about all the things then. So, what's your story? I'm Lucretia, and I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a physician. This is Navia's clinic. I've just been filling in ever since she disappeared. Right. I'm tired and out of my depth and miserable all the time. But I'd rather take this on myself than let one of you lot mess it up. <laughs> How did you end up working here? My husband and I moved to Rome from Caesarea. He embraced the Roman way more than I would have liked and turned into an awful philanderer. I would have divorced him and demanded the return of my dowry, but I knew he would sooner have me killed than give me my right. So I waited for the right time to take what was mine and disappear. And then the fires came. As he prepared to evacuate our villa, I gathered our most precious belongings, coins and gemstones, and the moment his back was turned, I ran. I could barely see for the smoke and the streets were full of people trampling each other. I ran for the river, like everyone else, and leapt in. The next thing I remember, I was waking up on a riverbank, not far from here. I'm sorry to hear that. Interesting, though, that that's practically identical to the other dude's story. It's all right. Say what you will about this place. At least my fornicating husband will never find me. And while there's no shortage of snakes here, at least with the golden rule, they have to try to be discreet about it. So, why are you working at the shrine? Oh, this shrine was in use as a clinic long before any of us arrived here. Oh? Kind of strange to set up a clinic in the temple of the god of disease. But the god who inflicts a curse is also the only god who can undo it. So, I suppose praying to Apollo for healing kind of makes sense. Yeah, kind of. Uh, tell me more about this Navia that went missing then. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife, not a physician. But she was the closest thing we had down here. And she was good too. Until she suddenly lost all interest in us. 
One day she told me she'd made some profound discovery about the golden statues. Oh? This changes everything, she kept saying. But I had no idea what she was talking about. The last time I saw her, the last time any of us saw her, she was muttering to the statues, like she could talk to them. And then she shut herself in the palace, barred the door from the inside. And oh, so she's not missing. Since. She's She's been gone so long now, okay. we figure she's either dead or up to something so strange that she doesn't want anyone else to know about it. But I really wish I could reach her, because that's the only hope I have of solving a troubling problem. A real thorn in the poor situation. One of my patients is suffering from terrible rheumatism. His joints are inflamed and he's in constant pain. Who? I really shouldn't say. He wouldn't like it. And he's a little bit scary. He's become so irritable that the smallest things set him off. And I worry he'll end up losing his temper and lashing out. And you know what that means. I just know Navia would know how to treat him. Assuming she's still alive. But nobody seems to know how to get into the palace. Uh, I'll get right on that too. Actually, I'll just say I'll see what I can do for that Thanks, one. Thanks, I suppose. Uh, do you know a way out of here? I wish. Some people here need proper medical care. Not the half-baked, hanging-by-a-thread excuse for treatment I'm giving them. Just don't get sick or injured here. I'll do my best to treat you, but I'm out of my depth and dangerously short on everything you can imagine. What do you think about the Golden Rule? A city without sin might sound good on paper, but whoever dreamt it up didn't think it through. Maybe it was an attempt to create some kind of utopia. But snakes like Decius will always find loopholes to exploit. And what can we do about it? Absolutely nothing. In some ways, we are worse off because we can't take the law into our own hands. I keep hearing the statues whispering. Is that normal? Oh, no. Sorry, I don't mean to worry you, but no, that is definitely not normal. There was one other person who claimed she could hear yeah, the statues talking to her. Yeah, the person that we were just talking about. But that was Navia, and uh, she went a little mad. Tell me more about her. Well, she used to run the clinic. She was a midwife. Wait, this is physician. just the same as what she but said she before, was the right? Closest until she suddenly lost yeah. this change the last time, and then she she's been gone. But I really one of my patients. He's become so irritated. I just know. Yeah. Okay, Thanks. that was just the same. Um, can we talk about Yulia? Sure. What do you want to know? Do you think she was poisoned, or was it self-inflicted? Do you really want to know? I mean, if somebody poisoned her, then surely they would have broken the golden rule, and so maybe it's best we don't discuss it. Do you know what poisoned her? Hemlock, I believe. Is there any reason why she might have wanted to die? I haven't seen her in months. She's not allowed to leave Maliolas' villa, and they are quite secretive. Hmm. Let's talk about Gladly. something else. Is that everything? That's everything. Well, come back if you get sick or injured. Day or night, I'll do what I can. Alrighty. Okay, so we want to go and speak to the prick that wouldn't give over the medicine that would have saved that lady's life. Now the question is, should I, should I thoroughly explore around everywhere or should I just go to the quest markers and explore around places more naturally as I need to. Although it doesn't seem like there's really much to explore here anyway. Was this what we wanted? Oh, you can press A to steal item, but that's not a not a great idea, I would imagine. Because that'll it was in red, and if we steal the item then we break the golden rule, right? So I assume we are able to fuck it up for everyone just as much as anyone else is. Uh, a circular loaf of bread designed to be pulled apart into wedges. It appears to be freely available to anyone who wants it. Sure, I'll take it then. Why would I not? A Roman recipe for bread. Sure.
A stone mill. Looks like flour and grain are poured in from above and ground between the stones as the handles are rotated. Aha, translation time. Secundus and Cythera were together until the end. What the fuck does that mean? I have no idea. How'd you do? And this one, Opius the thief stole my purse and I, whoever wrote this did not get to finish. Are the, is this graffiti from like previous inhabitants of this city that got turned into statues? Hmm. Wonder how much one of these statues is worth on the outside. You are a tool, sir. Salve, stranger, and welcome to our idyllic little slice of the empire. I'm Dacius. Terrible shame what happened to Yulia. But we just have to carry on, don't we? I need some Sylphium resin. Certainly. All I ask is a reasonable price of a thousand denarii. How would I come up with a thousand denarii? That's hardly my concern. But if you get a job, work hard and save your coins, you should be able to afford it within, say, five years? You're price gouging over life-saving medicine? What's wrong with you? Oh, it's perfectly legal. Simply a question of supply and demand, I'm afraid. Take it or leave it. Did you hear that? Hear what? That whisper. Ah, uh, are you sure you're feeling all right? If you're hearing things, perhaps you should pay a visit to Lucretia's clinic. We don't want another navy on our hands. Uh, I mean, we know what happened, but... She claimed the statue was a whispering to her. Nobody else could hear it. Then she shut herself in the palace and we never heard from her again. But I digress. Do you want this Sylphium or not? Uh, how about I just take it instead? Well, if you did that, you'd break the golden rule. And we'd share the same fate as the last lot Okay, there. so there was a last lot Is that what it. you want? So what's... Hmm. Is that what you want? If not, hand them over now. Do you think I don't know a bluff when I see one? Nice try. I don't have that kind of money. Very well. Perhaps I can interest you in something within your budget? What's your story? You mean how did I end up here? That is a lengthy tale. Wait, the quest updated to steal it? But that'll fuck everyone over. Hmm. Let's hear it. All right. Well, you see, I'm in the business of procuring rare and precious objects liberated from the enemies of Rome. Mostly sculptures, vases, the occasional slave, fetch a magnificent price in Roman high society. Had myself a nice little shop in Rome, just off the Forum. Lots of foot traffic and close to the docks. Good place to be when the fires broke out. See, about seven months ago, half of Rome caught on fire. Everyone who couldn't get to an outer gate was running for the river, hoping to escape by barge. So I gathered my coins and some priceless vases into a cart and had my most loyal slave girl, pretty young thing named Acantha, push it for me. All the way down to the river, I'm elbowing for a stampede of people, turning back now and then to make sure she hasn't legged it with my valuables. But, to my surprise, we make it, and I see this barge loading up, and it's so full it's almost sinking. But the captain's happy to take my coin, so I start boarding, and then he puts his hand on my chest and he says, No, too heavy. The cart or the girl. So I did what anyone would have done. You chose the cart, didn't you? Of course I chose the car. I mean, I can always buy a new slave girl, if I still have my money. So I put my hand on the car, and I guess she realised what was happening because those pretty black eyes of hers go all wide. And in one swift motion, she topples the whole bloody thing into the Tiber. Ha! <laughs> Good for her. So... No, I don't think he took her with him. Naturally, I dived in after it, hoping to salvage my fortune. Only, I guess I must have hit my head or something, because everything went black. When I came to, I'd washed up on the riverbank not far from here with nothing in the world but a single silver coin. Interesting that he described her as having black eyes. Because it's not as though many people have black eyes. And he's just described her as having black eyes. And also, Yulia, as she died, said something about black eyes. So, hmm. Sounds like you got what you deserved. I couldn't agree more. I mean, sure, I'd lost a few thousand denarii, but I've already made it back, and this place is a veritable treasure trove. Look around you. There must be more gold in here than in the treasury of Rome. If I can just figure out how to get it out of here. Do you know a way out? I'm afraid not. If you're desperate, I did hear that Aurelia down at the tavern claims to know of a way out, but I'm not sure I trust her. Some people here are a little shady for my liking. Really, I hadn't noticed. Oh yeah, gotta watch out. 
Old Dacius has got your back, though. Sure you do. What do you think about the Golden Roar? It's terrible for inflation, is what it is. There's so much gold just lying around, it's practically worthless. At least down here. Of course, I have an idea for generating real wealth, but what I need is a bow. Just a simple composite bow. I've scoured this city from top to bottom with no luck. But if you happen to find one, bring it to me and we'll talk. Oh yeah. Obtain a bow. Okay, that that's probably how you get the medicine from him without stealing it then, is you probably grab a bow and then trade it. Uh, hasn't the Magistrate banned weapons? Oh, well, technically yes, but that just means you'll need to be a little discreet. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, friend. Who are you going to vote for? He is definitely voting for the money man. Maliolus. Yep. I mean, Sentius couldn't even keep his daughter safe. What hope does he have of protecting us? <laughs> He's not going to agree to this, but... <laughs> not going to happen. Yeah, no, didn't think so. Well, I'm off. Very well. Another time. Another time, another place. So, my quest is now to steal this. But, like, everyone dies if I do that, right? Right? <laughs> Should I? What have I got? Steal the Silphium. Uh, there's no way he's going to sell it. I think I'm going to have to trade that bow. But steal it is now the quest. So this one, figure out how to make Maliolus drop out. Find a way into the palace. Figure out a treatment for rheumatism. I'll have to speak with Navia. Huh. <sighs> We don't have a we don't have a map or anything, do we? No. Hey Virgil, how much would you want to make me a bow? For the last time, Dacis, I'm not making you a bow. But why? You know why. But how am I going to defend myself against someone else with a weapon? There are no other weapons in the city. We all went along with the magistrate's weapons ban, so it wouldn't be an issue. That's why I've got to get in first before someone else beats me to it. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, that's not how that works. <laughs> so what have we got in here? Interesting, interesting, smithing kind of place. Accusatory note. A note insinuating that Virgil is a sinner. Virgil, do you want to, do you really want to be responsible for the sin that destroys us all? Hmm. Wait, and another one? Virgil, I know who you are and what you want. Turn away from this patch before. We all suffer for your sins. This area is private. Oh, path. Please Sorry. leave. Turn away from this path. And you're Virgil. Hmm. Hmm. I'm very tempted to just take this and just see what happens. Salve. I mean, fuck it, right? Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh shit! Everybody hide. Okay, that's terrifying. Oh no, there's. Wait, oh god. I didn't think they would be shooting me as well. That's not great. Uh, at times like these, I really wish I had a sprint, huh? Ow. No! Oh, shit. Don't do it. Don't do it. I really wish there was a sprint. <laughs> ah, so he did it. That is a long way to walk to get out of there. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's see how this works now. Like, is it? A, it's a complete reset. There's a complete reset. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are? Give and some what selfie you were doing in the resin of Oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so it is slightly different. Uh, I'm Mr. Fudge, and we've had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius, and you're about to offer to take me to see Sentius, so he can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. <laughs> No problem. I'm off. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Oh. What is this? Zipline handlebar? Excuse me. A rudimentary wooden zipline handlebar. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. Oh, I see. But don't worry. So you it's want me to? Completely safe. Probably. Thanks. All right. See you around. Interesting. I wonder if I could have got that item in the first loop, if I'd have come back and spoken to him, or if that's like you're specifically not able to get two specific parts of the map in your first loop to uh, try and make things like. Simpler in general. Can I walk off here? Oh shit, I think I can walk off here. That looks like death. Oh no, there is a sprint! It's left trigger! Who binds sprint to left trigger? What the fuck? When is sprint ever left trigger? Oh, you're joking. Well, at least I know now. God damn it. Alrighty, so... I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to get it from him unless we get a bow first, and I don't know where a bow would be. But let's go see if we can change any outcomes here. 